Hi, I'm Sam, branch partner of Finding Country Rugby, and Happy New Year to you all. So, we find ourselves in an all too familiar situation. The new variant strain of COVID has resulted in another lockdown for England, and how will this affect the local and national property market? Well, if you're unaware, the property market has once again been allowed to remain open under the normal COVID secure rules and buyers can still move within tiers to view property. 2020 ended with a strong housing market with demand 40% higher than in 2019 and this has been reflected in Finance Country Rugby's results with a record year reported since we opened in 2001. This despite the fact that we were closed for two months during the first lockdown. So how did previous lockdowns affect the property market? Put simply, it became clear that a new wave of buyers and sellers came to the marketplace prompted by the stay at home message. And I fully expect that to happen in the coming weeks. The UK economy has reacted positively to last year's enormous slump, and I expect the continued recovery to continue in 2021. Indeed, the Financial Times survey of 90 leading economists expects it will take at least 18 months for the UK economy to return to its pre-pandemic size. So what will the year ahead bring us? There are several changes and deadlines on the horizon. One being the inevitable end to the stamp duty relief at the end of March. The housing minister was categoric in suggesting this will not be changed, but then again, the government has been known for its recent U-turns. But in all honesty, I would be very surprised to see any change in this stance. There are capital gains tax changes from April the 1st, changes to the help to buy scheme and a 2% stamp duty levy for overseas buyers, which will no doubt impact transactional volumes and house prices. As a result, there's been wildly different forecasts ranging from positive to conservative and in light of the vaccine rollout and the Brexit deal agreed, I suspect that both of these will have a positive impact on the property market. Couple this with the fact that each lockdown causes an upturn in activity, and I suspect we will see more growth in 2021, perhaps as much as 4% in the Midlands based on the demand for homes locally, which currently exceeds supply. If of course you need to talk further about property related matters, or I think of a move in 2021, then feel free to contact me on the details that are about to follow. In the meantime, stay safe and please reach out to those that might need your help in what can be a very difficult time for many. All the very best and see you next month.